lower house payment has gone up $500. How's it going everybody? It is a beautiful day in Georgia. It is Saturday. It's about 82 degrees and we are trying to just relax out here by the swimming pool. A lot of my subscribers I think are coming from a video that I did about how to buy land. Another video that I did which is pretty popular despite the fact that everybody says I'm yelling, it's my video on construction loans. So maybe people that are finding my channel, maybe you're thinking about buying land or building a house. Let me tell you something that has happened to us over the last year and a half. So if you're gonna build a house or buy land and build a house, you can be better prepared. When we bought our property a few years ago, it was basically vacant. There were two houses on the property, but they were old and dilapidated, basically worth nothing so the tax value of the property was very low. About a year after we bought the property, we started building our house. When we went to get our construction loan and figure out what the mortgage would be, they factored in the taxes, the current tax value of the vacant land, and that was a very low tax value. Well, now we've been in the house for a year and a half. The house has been built for a year and a half and it just so worked out that the tax assessor has re-evaluated the property and the taxes are very high now we don't have a very big house it's three bed two and a half bath but the tax value going from basically nothing on the property to now a house it went up dramatically so that means our house payment over the last year and a half has gone up $500. And that's kind of a problem. I think that some of my subscribers are from other countries, so I'm not sure how you do it there. Here in the United States, usually when you pay your house payment, part of that payment also goes towards your property taxes and your homeowner's insurance. The mortgage company that you're paying the payment to, they have what is called an escrow account. It's basically a savings account and the mortgage company will save part of your payment for your property taxes and your homeowner's insurance. Now, of course, you can pay those up front if you want to. They do not have to be part of your house payment. But as far as I know, everybody I know, we just pay one payment, the mortgage, and then the mortgage company pays the property taxes and the homeowner's insurance. So when we got the construction loan, we kind of knew what we could afford and we were working with the construction loan lender and the mortgage lender and they factored in the construction cost and the taxes and everything and we figured out, okay, that's what we can afford. We can build this house and that's fine. Well, I wasn't thinking about future tax value. So here it is a year and a half later, the property tax has been re-evaluated and they sent us a bill for about $3,400. Our mortgage company this year, when they went to pay the new tax bill out of the escrow account, it went into the negative. There was not enough in that escrow or that savings account to pay for the taxes. So what they normally do, they will send you a bill, the homeowner, now you have a choice, you can pay that payment, you can just write them a check for $3,400 and your house payment will not change. We don't have that, we cannot make that payment. So what they do, they split up that money and add it to the next 12 payments of your house payment. Every time I try to make a video, this guy is flying his plane around. The next time I build a house or buy a house, I'm gonna try to find one not near an airport. There is a neighborhood around here that it's like a fly-in neighborhood, and I'm assuming that's where that guy is coming from. He's got this small little plane. He likes to do loop-de-loops and flying around doing tricks, and it's pretty cool the first couple times you see it, but I've been here a couple years now, and it is very aggravating because every time I'm trying to make a video, this guy's out here flying his plane around. Okay. There we go. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It is so hot sitting over there in the sun. I was sitting in the shade and then the sun has moved on me, so I had to move. I don't mean to always be boo-hoo and complaining in a lot of these videos, but I was completely unprepared when we built this house. Even a year and a half later, we are still having problems, things coming up that ultimately those problems just cost us more money. I spent a long time doing research on buying land and building a house and I was completely unprepared. There were so many things out there that I did not know and now we're learning them. So if you're thinking about buying land or building a house or you know someone that is, let them know about this problem. They need to plan for the future increased property value. If they're going to be paying for their taxes through their mortgage company, their property taxes are going to increase after the house is built and their mortgage payment is probably going to go up. Depending on the size and the value of the house and the property, it could go up a lot. I've been looking at many excavators for the last couple of years. I've also got some videos on my dump truck. I never have the time or the money to work on the dump truck anymore. I was just about to buy some tires for about $600, I think, to put on my dump truck and get it on the road because I need sand to work in the yard. I need gravel for the driveway. Well, now my house payment has gone up $500 a month. That is massive. I am a truck driver and I've got two kids in private school. So that's kind of where our priorities are, our kids' education the excavator working on the land fixing the dump truck i'm just going to have to get to it when i can because our house payment's gone up there are so many things that i wish i would have known i really would have reconsidered about buying land and building a house i at least would have saved more money and planned better i think buying land and building a house can still be an awesome and great thing for you and your family just make sure you know what is going to happen in the future. Make sure you plan for it. Make sure you have a lot of cash saved up for unexpected things. If you made it this far in my video, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.